Hi, my name is Andre. I'm focused in software engineering and I have an interest in data science. In addition, I'm also studying uh, digital systems and circuits here. Um, so I have a lot of experience with developing iOS applications and I, I find a lot of fun in creating mobile apps. And in addition for this project, what's really useful is data fusion. Since we'll be combining data from both a GPS source and our uh, accelerometer. So I'm looking forward to creating an algorithm that uses data from both sources where we apply signal processing techniques. Um, we can make an application suite that can house our data and then we can put it into a static algorithm. So I'm looking forward to what we do next. Hello, my name is Elysium. My main focus is physical electronics, um, semiconductors and some circuit theory as well as some coding. Uh, I, the way I can contribute to this project is to understand the MEMS accelerometers. Uh, understanding the way the accelerometers work at a low level can help contribute in the calibration of the device as well as manipulating some factors in the coding to help uh, reach our goals for the project. I'm Jonathan. I'm studying in physical electronics, semiconductors, along with an interest in power systems and computer engineering, so uh, software based as well. Uh, my interest in coding will help the team be able to come up with an app when it comes time to make it in order to combine the accelerometer and GPS um, data. My previous classes in signal processing will also help in understanding and analyzing the data recorded from the accelerometer and combining it in sync with the GPS. So our spread and interests and strengths make for a good team. Our proposed senior design project is the well-tempered accelerometer mentored by Professor Trevor Thornton. Essentially, an integrated accelerometer like the ones found in Apple Watches or other personal fitness devices like a Fitbit can be used to determine location. This is done by double integration of the acceleration measured in the X, Y, and Z directions. The change in position, delta X, delta Y, delta Z, and so on, is found by so-called the dead reckoning approach, which is what we will be focusing on in our project. However, in practice, there are misalignment errors and electrical noise can corrupt measured data and the location found by dead reckoning quickly diverges from the true location. So we will explore the limits of navigation using dead reckoning and implement a second source of data such as a GPS to try and correct this signal from blowing up. Ultimately, data from multiple sensors will be combined to improve the accuracy further using sensor fusion techniques as described. The goal is ultimately to optimize the measured acceleration data in order to extend the useful range of navigation.